Hey guys, it's Christina from American Red Flower Farm. So right now we are in the backyard. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do something. We have one baby asleep and so we need to do something. We'll see how much we can get done. Got some crazy hair right now. Um, tomorrow, no, tomorrow is Friday and Saturday we have market. So I need to do some more harvesting. I've already done some. I will show you what I've harvested already. Okay, so these are the flowers that I harvested this morning. Um, and I will just show you real quickly what we have here. Look how long the stem is. It's like three feet. Oh, this wasn't a very good example because it's not open yet. But you can see on those ones over there that they have yellow in the center of them. They open up to be yellow. But listen. It sounds like paper. Um, it's winged. It's, I'm pretty sure it's called winged everlasting because um, it's so flowy maybe. And uh, everlasting flowers. They dry just how they are. It's not open yet, but you can see on those ones over there that they have yellow in the center of them. They open up to be yellow. But listen. Sounds like paper. This bucket is plum full. This is straw flower, which is um, very similar to the last flower. It's also paper-like. And these ones are new this week. They just opened up. These are foxglove. And aren't they pretty? I love the colors in this one. They're like an apricot and apricot and uh, and cream. And kind of similar is a snapdragon. And I don't know the color of this one, but I love the color. It's like a Lavendery lilac. These ones are so easy to work with because they such a long stem. It's just a straight stem, so it's easy to pull out the bucket, it's easy to put in your arrangement, and it's actually the uh, the tallness in an arrangement. And another new one this week is a yarrow. This is one of my favorite flowers. You can't tell in the video, but this one is a little pink. Just right around the edges of like the center flower. It's just very light shade of pink. <laughs> oh no, I sneezed. Yarrow. And if I didn't say it, that is my favorite flower. And this one is Status, and this is, um, I think I had it last week too, but um, I have more this week. And this is paper-like as well. This is another one of my favorite flowers. I'm not a fan of this color, but it is one of my favorite flowers. This one is called Sorinth Kiwi Blue. Um, and it is very blue. It's like in, it's like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, in, uh, it's like not fluorescent. It's, it's like pearly kind of, I can't think of what that word is. I want to say it starts in an I. Somebody say it in the comments. If I don't remember it, either way, say it. It's got these pretty purple flowers that dangle off of them. And they kind of like, um, circle. They kind of like loop down and this is one stem right here that's just one stem and that's that's really big but i'll show it to you out in the garden because uh, we'll be harvesting right next to it 
And this one is another one of my favorite flowers. This is Queen Anne's Lace. Isn't it so pretty? I love the umbrella flowers that have like many flowers like in one. We'll probably do a little more harvesting. Um, so yeah, let's start there. Let's fill up our bucket with water. And I just remembered that I put out grass seed. I'm gonna try to grow some grass. Let's see how it goes. I planted some grass. Um, and it needs to be watered. It has to stay like wet for the first three days or something. And so um, I need to grab the hose so I can water it. You're planting that grass all wrong. You're walking all over it, you're letting it dry out, and you have a pool in the center of the small lawn that you have left in your backyard. Bald spots that I've covered with topsoil and then place seed on top of it. But I'll take what I get. Okay, so this is a new one this week. This is Canterbury Bells, um, also known as Campanula. Can you guys see the back slurs buttons are falling over? I need to fix that like right now. And so this was actually the area last year that we done, uh, we done the corralling method. These ones are actually reseeds from last year, the bachelor's buttons, the blue ones. Okay, so I got them up there. Um, they're still not, they're, they're just really tall for the Horton Oven netting and I can't move it up because it's attached in the back to the fence and so I can't like slide it up as the plants grow. So this is just a temporary fix for now. And I'm gonna cut most of it back right now when I harvest it. So uh, it'll be okay. And the chickens are eating it on the other side. This is the bachelor's button. And you typically wanna harvest them when they are showing color and not fully open because they don't last that long. Each flower doesn't last very long, um, only a couple days. But um, hopefully these other ones will open up. I'm gonna cut off some of these side stems because they're just gonna get in the way when I'm making arrangements. Toss it over to the chickens because they love it. Here's another good one. The sun is so bright. Where it's just starting to open up. This one's actually gonna be purple. And these are volunteers. If I didn't say it before, these are volunteers from last year. From the plants that were here last year, drop seed and um, now these ones are growing. Okay, so I'm gonna call this the end of the video because um I think that we may be going to the farm. It's Somewhere around five o'clock right now, sun sets around. Um, it's usually completely dark by eight, but uh, we're gonna get out to the farm or we're gonna take the boys to the park. But this is another flower that I will be harvesting for market. And I will harvest this um, because it's in the hoop house. I can do it um, after dark. I can do it when the, um, after the boys go to sleep. And so I can either do that or I can harvest it tomorrow. But uh, it's pretty. Yeah, and then I'll harvest the rest of the Canterbury Bells and the Bachelor's Buttons and uh, there's some more corn cockle and I have a couple ridiculous left and so I will probably harvest those. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe if that's your thing. Remember, keep your hands dirty.